Sarar, month of birth, April, fourth and minor. Something came clawing into her gut. It shook her once and went away. She managed to conceal her pain and keep crying. And she, throughout the day, hung up the washing. She racked her brain and then realized in fright she was going to give birth. At once, a crushing weight grabbed at her heart. She didn't go upstairs till night. But just as she lay down, they fetched her back again. Fresh snow had fallen, and it must be swept. That was a long day. She worked till after 10. She could not give birth in peace till the household slept. And then she bore, so she reports, a son. The son was like the son of any mother, but she was not like other mothers are. But then there are no valid grounds why I should mock her. You do I beg, may not through anger manifest. For all the lives, details of all the rest. So let her finish now and end her tale about what happened to the son she bore. She says there's nothing she will not reveal. So men may see what I am and you are. She had just climbed into bed, she says, when nausea seized her, never knowing what should happen till it did. She struggled with herself to hush her cries and force them down. The room was still. The bedroom was ice cold, so she called on her last remaining strength and dragged herself out to the privy, and there, near dawn, unceremoniously, she was delivered. Exactly when, she doesn't know. Then she, now totally confused, she says, half froze and found she could scarcely hold the child for the servant's privy that in the heavy snows. Between the servant's privy and her bed, she says nothing happened until then. The child began to cry, which vexed her so, she says that she beat it with her fist hammering blind and wild, without pause, until the child was quiet, she says. She took the baby's body into the bed and held it for the rest of the night, she says. And then in the morning, she hid it in the laundry shed. Marie Farrar, month of birth, April died in the Mason Penitentiary, an unwed mother. Judged by the law, she'll show you all that live, live freely. You bear your children in a laundry linen sheet. Call your pregnancies a blessed state. Should never damn the 